All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode, or I should say episode three, officially, of Alan Wake Remastered. So previously, on episode two, which was called Taken, by the way, we find out that our wife was somehow miraculously taken. She has been kidnapped by this kidnapper. And according to him, he wants us to write or give him all of the manuscripts to a story in order for us to get back our wife. Uh, we had to go through like this crazy forest. We had to go up against a lot of really, really strong enemies, I guess we want to call them. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, we find out again that the old lady is as creepier as we ever thought. The old lady that we met in episode one in Bright's Diner, which is the one that we see here on screen, um, which was the one that gave us the wrong key to the wrong cabin. Okay which I'm starting to believe that her plot within this story is much, much deeper and darker um, than we first anticipated. So I'm really excited to get into this episode, episode three. I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be a little bit of a long one. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. Episode three, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Mm. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Mm. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Hmm. What the hell? Well, you gonna open up or what? Randolph? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara oh, Jagger, God, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Hmm. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. That old lady creeps me out, man. That old lady is crazy, okay? Crazy, I tell you. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? Hmm. We're just here to talk to her, pal. <laughs> yeah, pal. Let's see if she feels normal. What does she say about all of this? Welcome to... To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. What the heck? 
Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I am oh, strippy, dude. You must turn the lights on. Felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh! <laughs> I can't tell reality from dream anymore. What the? But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be mm. shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can mm. feel it. That is crazy, but okay. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. I'm gonna take the thermos here. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? <laughs> Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Yo. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today? My stuff? gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a Again. way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, sidekick, looked like trouble. <laughs> and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. <laughs> Your normal bedtime. <laughs> what is it? She's like 10? Grown ass woman, please. I would fucking hate my landlord for calling the cops because I'm having some friends over, you know? But I get it. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny. Uh, I got in trouble with the law, you know, and I'm, I'm just, well. I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah, well, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me on bail today, and now I'm 
just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? All right. I really like the music in this game. I wish I could listen to it, but unfortunately we can't. Because if not, we, we get in trouble with the YouTube law, you know? It's, it sucks, but it is the rule we have to follow. Somebody's got a crying baby in there. Oh, you're going to get it now. <laughs> God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Oh, shit. My boy's doing the Max Payne. <laughs> Alan Payne Wayne. What are oh I'm God. standing right here, you goddamn maniac! <laughs> that was fucking cool. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Oh shit, running from the cops! No! Oh my god. Running, running, running. Are they close by? Are they looking for us or are they just oh they are looking for us wow oh my god escape the police damn they got the chopper and everything jesus i'm just one man there he is we have the suspect in sight all right now that i've established my stamina a bit Oh, these guys are relentless. Where are those freaking... Oh, God! Maybe I gotta stay to the rocks. Lay low. Alright, stay away from the light, perhaps. Let's go right up through here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We have got this. Everything is under control right now. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Ooh, manuscript. I know the cops are chasing me, but hold on. Let me read a manuscript real quick. <laughs> For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. I have to say the writer, not the writer, but well, he is the writer, but Alan Wake, he reads really good. Like, I'm just really glad that those manuscripts are being read by him and not me. Because I can get... Oh, whoa. What the hell happened? What the... F Holy smokes. What's the manuscript right here? 
Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's go back up top here. I don't know, man. This is kind of... Uh... I don't know if I should if I should go down there. Maybe find another manuscript or something. Yeah, I think we're good. I kind of wish that the more we would run, would upgrade his. Um, I know this is not one of those games, but upgrading his running would be pretty freaking good right now because my boy gets tired very often. What is that thing? What the heck is that? What the frick is going on? Oh, great. Another. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. The geek writer. Jump down here. Oof. Oh my god, they've got another chopper looking for us. Should we hide? Is it gonna make a difference? Probably not. Oh my goodness. Oh god, get out Wait, maybe, maybe hide behind this one. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? That's the freaking crows that's doing that? Are you serious? Bro! There's no freaking way the crows are doing that. There's no way. This area right here reminds me of um, Days Gone. Ah, I love that game. That game was so good. Deegan and Boozer. Was it Boozer? I got. Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton. Come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. Hmm. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why didn't we? Hey, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and oh. give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old scotch about him. You know what I mean? Over. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything on that deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like <laughs> they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. All right, so escape the police. Gotta go back down, I would assume. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this door just magically opened for us. 
How I imagine that the broadcast exciting. tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine oh. seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. We're going into what? The coal mine? Do you know whatever happens inside the mines, Alan Wake? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Alright, I'm gonna have to go up here and get a flashlight. Perhaps? There was no power to the searchlight. Alright, there's a generator up here. Hmm. Here we go. That ought to do the trick. Oh, and there's another one here. Ah. Very nice. I like how every episode there's like something new. Like, for instance, uh, the first episode had like the weapons, the flashlight, the, the, the regular stuff. Then the last episode had um, the flares. Um, I had the birds, which were new enemies, and now we've got that. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can see some more of that in uh, some of the next upcoming areas of the forest. Woohoo! No, 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 relax. Hey, stop it. Stop the bullshit. Pick up the flashlight. Enough, Satan! Well, I gotta do each fence. Jesus Christ. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal oh weapon God. for my situation. Flashbangs? Seriously? Look at this. We were just talking about fly um uh, new things. Nobody's going to talk to you, woman. <laughs> Look at the hood. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Amazing. Damn, that flashbang is nuts. Better than the freaking weapon. Like the gun. Deputy, what the hell are you doing, Deputy? Oh, hi, Dep. What up, Dep, Dep? Mr. Deputy, Dep, 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 Deputy. Oh, I'm gonna need, I, I'm gonna need that, boys. Yo, that is so dope. I mean, I, I need to use it because I don't have a gun or anything. This is the only thing I have. I'm so happy they're adding new uh, like inventory, you know? I'm gonna get all of them to come to me. Oh, okay. You know what? You guys are assholes. Goodbye. I'm leaving. I'm leaving! I want no part of this. Peace out. Sayonara. Yo, that is so clutch. Oh my goodness. That is extremely clutch. More flashbangs? <laughs> Give them to me. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're mm. still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I just saw another manuscript right there. 
Oh, come on, dude. Seriously, fuck. Every time they do that shit, it scares me. Scares the crap out of me. Y'all dead. I don't... F <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that flashback is crazy good. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Ah, yeah, that must have really hurt. That kind of hurts, actually. I was trying to test that out. Trying to fit his uh, narration. Really good at narrating things. I like it. You know, truth be told, I've never been able to read a whole book in my entire life. I just, my reading retention is just horrible. I, I just cannot, I've never been able to. Just like these guys will never be able to see the next day of their life. After that flashbang. Bro, I'm actually in love with the flash. That flash that he flashbangs. Oh, God. The Popo. Boys, stop. Peace! <laughs> Damn, every time we see a car... Maybe I should use them more. Every time I see a cop car, there's a bunch of... A bunch of flashbangs. Maybe I'm being, uh, being a little bit too reservative. Reserv preservative? I, I don't know. Bro, leave me alone, assholes. Okay, here we go. We go up top here. See if we find anything else. Crap. Okay, so the big guys take two. Gotta take that into account. Also, oh, I would have ended up here anyways. Interesting. Cool. Radio station. Here we go. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, we're probably going to drive again. Nice. in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Danny Brown. You got away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Oh shit. Oh my boy, the moves. Oh my god, so much for coming over here. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? <laughs> I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. Oh, I'd have to this. lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Very nice. All right, another manuscript. Here we go. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. 
You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage. All right. All right, boys. Uh, let's let's all calm down here. Okay. Yes. Let's all just relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. Hmm. All right, do we go that way or? I gotta use the flashbangs. I have to. There's nothing else. I don't have a gun. So I feel like I'm wasting my flashlight battery. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Oh, I have the revolver. I'm an idiot. Yes, I do. Oh my. Break yourself, bitch. I run these streets. Shoddy again. We meet once again, baby. Oh god. Man, y'all really stupid for this. Really? Really? Y'all really want it? <laughs> you dumbass! Boom! Boom! That's all you got? <laughs> You're a joke. All right, we got a couple of cabins. Lodges. I don't know what. The, I guess they're broken down, so we can call them that, maybe. Ooh, we've got another one right here. Nice. We got the last and final one at the back. As long as no more of these freaks show up, we should be okay. I don't like these freaks, man. They're freaking me out. Got the coffee thermos. Thermos, 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 thermos. What do we got up here? Anything, anything spectacular? Maybe some batteries at the top, a manuscript? That would be nice. Wow, dude, this looks freaking creepy. Look at that, huh? My boy's dead tired. <laughs> All right, we're going. Hmm. Emergency box. Shotgun number, rover, lithium batteries, and batteries. So what is it? Lithium batteries are last longer? What, what's the same Hello? crap, right? It's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Whoa. Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. I feel like she's not even alive, the dude, honestly. Been terrible, I think she's dead. But that dead. wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. But she had called me. I think she's dead, dude. I really do. Hopefully I'm wrong. I would like for her to be alive. But I think she did, bro. Sorry. It's inevitable. Sounds too good to be true. All right. Some more of this. And here we go. 
a flare now we got a lot of stuff man we're freaking stacked oh of course Come on, bitch. You want to die, too? Boom! Last episode, you guys almost had me. I'm not even going to lie. But today? Nah, bro. Not happening today. Today, we're going flawless. Kicking your ass. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, force. but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it mm. flew at me again. Interesting. Right, I could going. see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Oh, what do we have here? Follow. All right, let's go. So right now we've got to reach the train depot. I kind of feel like going to the radio station was pretty pointless. Or at least it feels that way. Oh my God. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. Okay, okay, you know what? Sorry, I take that back. What is wrong with this freaking place, man? Like, this place is crazy. Oh, what the fucking shit? Hey! What the hell? What the? Throw a flashlight. Oh, uh, look, a flare. There we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe we ought to get out of here. Yeah? How about, how about, how about this? Yeah, that's right. Away with you, Satan! Oh God, I'm literally getting hit by a fucking piece of metal. All right, I'm out of here. The hell was that, man? <laughs> oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Whoa! Okay, y'all need to calm the fuck down! I'm gonna freaking die here. Sheesh, man. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Mm. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Well, heavy duty. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness no could possess shit. anything, and it was getting closer. What? What is? Wait, what does this do? Really? Oh. Oh, I like this. So, what does this do? Kill them faster? Okay. I'll take that. Thankfully, I can use any any battery. I was actually thinking maybe that's what the lithium batteries are for, but now right, we're about to find out. What did you call that? Yeah, I think it does. Uh... It does get rid of them faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo. 
perfect. Right now. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of scared to use like all my other resources. That's why I'm just using the flashlight and, and the battery. Which I, I'm sure I probably should use other things. You know, but... I don't know. I feel like I might need them, so I, it makes me not want to use them. In light, you can hurt them. Okay, more flares. See, but then again, on the other hand, we're always getting replenished. Hmm. Another manuscript. The darkness surged towards me. Sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. Broke my damn legs there. Oh, this is going to be a boss fight. This is too big. Oh. What the fuck is this, man? Nobody told me about this. No. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? through the bigger scarf ball at us. Holy fuck. Man, these dudes. Bro, I'm getting some crazy jump scares in this game. This is not what I was preparing myself for. Sheesh. Okay, so we... Can I go up there? Probably not. I don't think the game's gonna let me go up there. Of course not. Alright. We know where we gotta go anyways. We're a little bit closer now to our destination. I think this episode's actually uh, slightly like 10-15 minutes longer than the last one. And the last one was pretty long. But we're almost there. Is that the car we're gonna use and get the hell out of here? Looks like it is, but get the coffee thermos. Hmm. Oh yeah. You still got the same band-aid. 
And his I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Oh, nice. That's right, everything's been in darkness, dude. What the heck? The coal mine wasn't far now. Okay. Is it that over there on the right? Oh, this Today, is nice. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Is that so? Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Sorry, thumbnail time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, don't mind me, okay? I'm a weirdo. Only, only YouTubers will understand. You need the perfect shot, bro. Oh, that's a cool tree. That looks nice. Really? I mean, we could have used the car to drive here. I mean, do we really have to come on foot? Seriously? <sighs> Get in the car just for a cutscene and then just walk all the way over there. Maybe if we didn't get tired every seven seconds, it'd be a different story, but sheesh. Unless I'm actually able to get in the car and then I didn't know that and then now I look completely stupid. On the bright side, I don't think we're going to be able to need to use. We're, we're, we're going to have to be able to... Wait, what, what am I trying to say? On the bright side, we're not going to need to use any of the weapons. Oh, why don't you look at this? Because um, we're not going to need it. And well, the game just shut me up. <laughs> we just came across a car. And let me guess. We cannot... Wow, are you serious right now? Little by little. There we go. Um. Okay. I think I was actually probably able to drive that car, to be honest. Because right here, we're able to drive, but we can't go that way, so we got to go this way. Or not. Hey, hold up, man. What is going on here? Wait, so we could. Let me take that car back. What happens if we drive off? I don't want to try it, just in case. Alright, we'll go through here. Nice. Alright, thank God. We're probably here. Probably a dead end. No? So we got to go around and then take the bridge. It seems like. Right? Exactly. Hold on. Let me go in here and see if there's anything that we can use for our future adventures. There's a radio in there as well. This is Pat Main and you're listening to KBS FM. Folks. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure hmm. you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, 
I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. All right, cool. So that's that. Let's get back in the car here and uh, go off to the bridge. I think we should be able to use the car through this bridge, hopefully. Yes. Excellent. I never, th I actually, I didn't know we were going to be able to drive cars in this game. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Totally unexpected. Oh, shit. What do we got here? I think we got to keep going, though. But we've got another stop first. Look at this car. Ooh, we've seen this car before. Right, have we? I think we have. Wait, we've been here too. This is during the daytime. It just looks a little bit different, but I think we've been here. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> You got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? <laughs> there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but... What you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue mm. with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say, mm. It's shaking a few things loose. My boy's so traumatized. <clears throat> Woohoo! <clears throat> Woohoo! <clears throat> Ow. Alright, we're gonna get up in this car. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go, go get this freaking classic. And it's slow as shit. Oh, actually, it's pretty... Well, we're going downhill, so... What the hell? Hold on, hold on. I gotta check this place out. There's a lot of... I feel like I'm... <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a free... Uh, a free roam game right now. Driving cars, getting off in different places, looting them. This is pretty lit. I like this. Let's go, Mr. Allen Wake. Come on. Almost there. A manuscript. All this shit for a manuscript. Perfect. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special. But Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight. But it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. All right, let's get back on the car. We're going to the coal mine, man. This is going to be nuts. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, look at this. So cool. Oh 
my I god. Alert. I was supposed to There's meet the actually a mine in the main building. Oh the man. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Nothing happens. Nothing good happens in the coal mine. Okay, we've seen this in, in until and on in until dawn. We've seen this in plenty of games. The mines are always scary. But I guess that's the perfect recipe for this game. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. God, I love the way he reads. He reads so fluid. Shit. I wish I could read like that. Damn. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. Mm. We're gonna wait here till the nighttime. The of new course. sun turned the place into a sauna. Of course we're gonna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wow. And now it's nighttime and we are headed into the mine. That's just perfect. Fuck me. Oh god, that is just... Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the <sighs> path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Why can we not I open had to get to Mirror Peak. Oh! Get me out of here, bro. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. What, what what the fuck do you want me to leave the building, man? Through here? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my goodness. Is that a bed? I mean, that's, that's not a bed. Definitely, but it could have used it could have been used as a bed that that would have been weird, but Also slightly kinky who knows I don't know these people Some of these white folks are just crazy man I love how it just says caution and then it opens up for us to just go down there <laughs> And now it's nighttime just like I said Hold on, before you get crazy. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was this... Okay. about about people we gotta worry about damn freaking objects too 
I hate this. I don't like this one bit. Hold on, bro. This just got this just got cereal with some milk. Get out of here. What the hell? What is going on? All right, this game just just took the craziest turn of events. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. No, that's not going to be possible, Mr. Allen Wake. You see? We're fucked. Alright, well, we got a car. We're about to drive this shit. You ready, boys? <laughs> I'm going to run all of them over. Yes, yes. You will all die. Die, bitch. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Anybody else want some? I mean, I got more. No? Okay. I'm really happy we had the car for that. That, that would have sucked with, with just the, the weapons. It seems like this game just gets more challenging. Believe it or not. It really does. Now we're going to have to go back there. We're going to have to deal with the freaking monsters. Because of course we are. But it's okay. We've got ourselves a nice little little Jeep sort of car. We'll just run these assholes over. It ain't gonna be no thing. Oh, what the freaking crap! <laughs> what the fuck is this? You see what I'm talking about? There's no way. Oh, this car is gonna go to shit. I need to use the car to get rid of the objects. Go reverse. Oh! What the fuck is going on? Oh no, I used the wrong gun. Of course I would. Bro, come on, man. All right, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Fuck this. Jesus Christ. have that crap over there trying to attack me so I think it's stuck thankfully oh my god bro this is wild wild as hell Oh, 
I got an idea. That's it. You guys are fucked. Y'all want to come play house in an enclosed area with me? But you don't mess up with the wrong riders, suckers. All right, good. That actually came in handy. Man, that flashbang is crazy good. That flashbang is clutch as hell. Alright. Um. Oh my god. Fuck me. Sideways, daddy. <laughs> Alright. Get me out of here. Seriously? Get me out of here. We gotta go up top. But how the hell do I go? Okay, this is not the way. Um, or is this the way? Bro, come on, dude. Looking for another way out. Let's see. Trust no one in the dark. Okay. Oh my god, there's a ladder right here. I'm an idiot. Follow. Yeah, you're gonna have to hold on, bro. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Okay. Okay. Okay, Alan. Okay, I got you. I see you. I hear you. But you know what? Right now we're going to kick some ass. No, bro, I don't need a fucking... What is that? Oh my god. I got full batteries. We're good. Can I climb up the window? You know what? Not even gonna... Are you serious? There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Hmm. Ah! What? Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Well, you know, the game wants me to use these right here. Sorry, boys. Oh, this guy's a little strong, huh? Oh, break yourself. Oh, wow. There it is. There it goes. Or shizzle. Ooh. God, I wish I could melee this. I could just punch him in the face. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Wow. Oh. Oh, not the crows again. Please, not the crows again. Whatever you do, just not the crows again. 
okay? I've had enough for one night. I'm tired, exhausted. I no longer can write a damn word on a sheet of paper. Just take it easy on me. And now, guess what? I gotta write a damn story to save my wife. Nice. Probably can't pick everything up, but hey, something is something. I don't have time for you dumbasses. Sorry. I'll catch you later. Got no time, boys. No time. Oh, God. If I fall from here. <laughs> if I fall from here, I think I'm dead. Woohoo! Perfect. A little safe haven. Hell yeah. More flashy flashes. Adam Roach Lemon. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint mm. and make him talk. Oh wow, the pump shotgun. Hell yeah. It's got way more ammo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't stand here in the light with me, boys. Guess what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that pump is nice. I'm not even going to go over there. Turn this bad boy on. Oh, you guys are silly. Oh, you guys are silly. You know what? Actually, there we go. And you, you fucked. Come here. I want to take it on you personal. That's right. Oh, those, uh, those lights are clutch, man. Wow. Where's the scumbag? I don't know what the heck that... Oh, what the is this? A cemetery? Was ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? All right, this is getting creepy now. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Peace! Oh, this just got a machete, man. What the hell is that? Man, thank the Lord for those flashbang grenades, man. They're so good. And we've got another little safe haven light here. Is it the safe haven? I don't I forgot what they were calling it in the first episode. That's very creepy. I don't like this place. This game's actually spooky, man. Believe it or not, it is. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. No, seriously, my boy. What the hell's going on, bro? Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. Hmm. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. 
angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Rippy! Come on, where's the boss fight? Is it gonna be uh, a bunch of weird dudes? Is it gonna be a group of crows? What's it gonna be? Come on. Just give it to me. the ghost town oh that's nice that's good that, that nobody told me this was called the ghost town matter of fact nobody told me we we're coming to a place called the ghost town oh god oh my god we're gonna die here 100 percent well we're gonna die is that a key i don't know what that is Boy, you need to run quicker than this. I needed a key for the door. Oh my god, get the fucking flare gun. Yes. Is that it? Oh wow, we did it. Man, that flare gun is clutch. Safe haven. There it goes. Oh, it's in here. Of course. That's what it's telling me that in the safe haven, there is a key. We're right here. Something tells me it's not over yet. Oh, God. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. About growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Alright. Hunting rifle for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the hunting rifle. Yeah. I like that stuff. I like it. You know it's going down, boys. Oh, it's going down right now. All right. Nice. More creepy shit, I see. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. 
Spelling error is an insult. He would, he would pay attention to the spelling error. Being a writer or not, you know. Oh, we're almost there, guys. I've actually been playing for five hours. I've recorded multiple episodes today. Oh, I'm lying. Three hours. Birds. Come on, bitch. I need to get someone more comfortable. Creepy. As they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Told or heard. Hmm. I'm not supposed to be there. Not supposed to go into that water. I'm pretty sure of it. But we're gonna go up. Hmm. Shit, what's gonna happen here? Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Bro, how creepy is that? Nice. Oh, God. against now oh god bro away satan away yep there it is 
And guess what? I got this shit for your ass too, bitch. That's right. <laughs> Man, one flying. Holy crap. Hunting rifle is legit, man. So good. my way up this mine shaft in order to go on maybe the machinery could help me with that all right let's do this move the elevator right up here and we'll, we'll get this done just like so mr wake i'm assuming we gotta move it back up to get across yes sir indeed But how do I get over there? No, 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 no. Right here. Perfect. Then. There we go. Come on. Gotta use a brain here, man. Is this the right way? Yes. Up through here. I feel like we should have more of these like puzzles. I feel like it would make the game even better. Like this, this is fun. Like having to think just a little bit. Not too hard. Just a little, you know, come down just a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm an absolute moron. Sometimes when you get too comfortable and you start running all over the place, shit happens. Oh, that's what it was. Um, right, so how do I... Oh, I see. I gotta push it up here. And then go back up the ladder. And just like that, we're out of here. Got a hell of a kick on you, sir. What's over here? Interesting. Oh my god, a manuscript all the way over here. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnair, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Cool story, bro. <clears throat> Ow. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Alright, nope, no more woohoos, okay. Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. You will all die today. You come at me again and you're dead. And this has been one hell of a freaking chapter, dude. Or episode. It's been long. Hmm. Oh, great. Nice. Just great. That's okay. We've got we've got the resources, man. Hold 
building all the flares. That's right. I dare you to come this way. That's right! Want some more? Hell yeah. A flare gun is so clutch. Throw another flare here so they leave me alone. Okay, let's just stop. Let's stop. Oh god. No, 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 no. What, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> this man. Alright, that's it, bro. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna use my regular handgun. I don't wanna. Let's reload that bad boy up. Oh my god. Okay, what the Shit. frick? Bro, well, somebody, something wants me dead, okay? And we've been seeing this for the last two episodes. It's about time it shows up and faces me like a man. Or a thing. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, yeah. We're stacked right now. It's coming. Wow. Sorry, Bucko. This way? No, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Bro, you freaking dipshit. Get away from me. Man, these guys are relentless sometimes. What the heck do the thermos do? Are they collectibles or what? All right, so go this way. Get some uh, supplies back here. Yes, hell yeah. They come in clutch. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, hmm. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. 
the boss wouldn't be happy. We've got to be at the end of this already, man. <laughs> this episode could have been two, two videos. It's crazy. Boy, strong, man. Strong rider right here. Don't want to mess with Mr. Wake. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fuck. That leaves this guy's vicious. Ah, oh man, this is trippy. This is this is creepy. Talk to me on TV. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. here now all right seriously is there a way out of here oh Tom Zane oh a bunch of flares I feel something big's coming I was shooting the freaking Magnum. I'm like, wait, why are these guys not dying? Oh, he almost got me now. Oh, no. Oof, that was a close call, dude. Holy cow. Wait. You just fell down from there. Hmm. Reach the mirror peak lookouts. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Hmm. Oh, look at the freaking um, that hotel that we've seen in the first I episode. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. All right, I see this I manuscript. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Oh, what the hell? Now this dude gets so tired. Come on. Yes, hey, I'm asshole. Here. I'm coming. No, get away. Sorry, please, lady. The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. We don't have his wife. Oh, the old lady.
Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Like I said, I've been playing this game for like four hours now, closing in on four hours today. I recorded two episodes back to back without even editing any of them. It just back to back. One hell of a game. I'm really enjoying this story. And of course, I hope you guys are too. I'm sorry this one was a little bit long. We've been officially recording for about an hour and 50 minutes for this one. So yeah, it's, it's been a little bit long for sure. But um, let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying it. If you're not, doesn't matter. I hope you are. And uh, yeah, I've got nothing else. Love this game. Cannot wait to do episode four. We've got three more to go to finish the game. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.